I think you know, some of the value that we provide to our clients is, is there may be circumstances where people get involved in an accident and the coverage that's available is sufficient. But what we try to do with all of our clients is sit down and look at the insurance coverage that they do carry to help them in the event that they get into another accident or something happens later that they are adequately covered. So that's a service that we try to provide to people. You know, good lawyers know how to find insurance coverage. That's one of the things that we get paid to do. Um, folk, people or lawyers who don't, I don't say specialize, but who don't focus on personal injury work, they don't know where to look for insurance coverage. That's why a lot of the cases that we get are referred from other lawyers who may be criminal lawyers or domestic lawyers or people who have other areas of practice they just don't know where to look. And so they bring us in to help them work on the case to find the insurance coverage that's available for whatever particular incident we're working on. Well, the, the reason that we know more about insurance coverage is because we deal with it every day. All of our cases involve some type of insurance on some level. And what most people don't understand is that the insurance that they have may not be providing for them the benefits that they hope that it does. First of all, a lot of people say that they have full coverage. They may not exactly understand what that means. There's two types of coverage that are very important for you under your own policy. The first of all is your liability coverage, which is the coverage that is needed in the event that you do something wrong and you hurt somebody. That's the coverage that's available to cover for the mistakes that you make. The second level of coverage that's important, and I would say even more important than the liability coverage oftentimes, is what's called uninsured motorist coverage. And the uninsured motorist coverage is the coverage that will step in place for people who injure you who don't have coverage of their own. As, as part of our expertise in analyzing insurance coverage that our clients carry, one of the things that we often and would always encourage people to get would be an umbrella policy. And a lot of people don't understand what that means. But what an umbrella policy is, is a level of coverage that goes with you wherever you are. Most, most policies are either a million dollars and they can go up to, I've seen them up as high as five million dollars for individuals. Another thing you can get with your umbrella policy is a, called a UM rider or uninsured motorist coverage rider, which allows you to take your umbrella policy and stack it on top of the UM coverage that you carry under your automobile policy. Here's an example of how uninsured motorist coverage and an umbrella policy can tie in together in, in cases, in a case that I've worked on recently. Um, there was a very sad circumstance where a lady was driving home with her child in the back seat. A driver who was not paying attention because they were texting crossed the center line, hit her head on. Um, fortunately, she had a good automobile policy. She had $250,000 in uninsured motorist coverage, but she also had a million dollar umbrella policy which stacked on top of that. The at-fault driver only had $25,000 in coverage. So if that family hadn't done the right thing and gotten good UM coverage or uninsured motorist coverage and gotten the umbrella that stacked on top, all I could have recovered for that lady and for her child was $25,000 a piece. And her case was worth all of the coverage that was available, more than a million dollars because of the, the severity of her injuries. And thankfully, we were able to make a good recovery for her that's provided her the care that she needs for the rest of her life. The reason your insurance matters when you get involved in an accident is for several reasons. First of all, um, we already talked about earlier in one of the other videos is the uninsured motorist coverage. Um, that's something that you have to have in the event that the person that caused the accident doesn't have coverage, you've got coverage. Another thing is there's a thing called medical payments or med pay is what it's called in the industry is a portion of your auto policy that will pay for your medical expenses and your out-of-pockets and also will pay back some of your lost wages for any injuries or treatment that you have related to an automobile accident. A lot of people don't carry med pay on their policy but I still think I think it's a good thing to carry because most people would say why do I need med pay if I already have health insurance? Well the nice thing about med pay is they pay Without question, the claims filing process is very simple. There's no deductibles. There's no 80-20. You simply go to the doctor, present them with the MedPay claim information, which we would set up for all of our clients who have MedPay, and the bills get paid. Um, a lot of people ask me if they make a claim against the UM portion or the uninsured motorist coverage of their policy, whether or not that's going to cause their premiums to go up. And the answer is no. 
Um, I have never seen that in my 20 plus years of practice. I've never seen that happen. And the reason it doesn't happen is because the UM coverage under your policy and the liability part of your policy are two separate premiums. You actually, if you look at your declaration page, you'll see that there is a separate premium assigned to each one of those types of coverage. Um, now, I'm not telling you that your insurance rates won't go up because they do go up frequently, but it will not be related to you making a claim under your uninsured motorist portion of your policy or under the MedPay portion of your policy if you happen to carry that.